Hey, it's Broford here. Me and a couple friends have decided to play a one-shot and record it. There will be four players. My friend Kaysock will be the DM. Kaysock, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Kaysock, and like Broford said, I'm DMing this quote-unquote one-shot while we take a break from his campaign. You'll be hearing enough from me, so I'll keep it short and just say that links to where you can find me will be in the description, including my YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Remember to like and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you think of this campaign. Without further ado, let's get into the game! Okay. I'm gonna try to go quietly. I don't know about the rest of these guys. Still chicks. You do not get the impression that Torn is a very quiet creature. <laughs> Just a heads up. I will inform he should try to be a quiet creature. He will attempt. Oh, I did oh. that at a disadvantage, oops. <laughs> it, uh, dude, you did a disadvantage, but you rolled a 32. <laughs> I disappear in the light. Jesus. Alright, uh, stealth. Um, oh, shit. Let's see, will this... <laughs> I do roll with this advantage. I roll a natural one for a total of zero. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen is that Shade's going to be humming, and you decide to start singing along instead. <laughs> no. He does not sing. Then hum but along. Let's, along. Can I, I flavor along. as... He is seven feet tall. The insides of him is metal, and the outside of him is wood. He is... He is a loud stepper. He takes He's a step, on and it... It thumps. All right, so uh, before we get too far here, uh, we've already established that uh, sneaking is not going to be a thing. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> so I would like, who who's the first person to step out on here? Let's, let's just clarify a marching order here. It's Shade. It's Shade. I would like Shade to make a perception check. Nice. All right, so as you take your first steps down, do a quick look around and don't see anything out of note, uh, make a dex saving throw. 18. A lot of good the sneaking does ya as uh, a pillar of fire erupts from under your feet and you take uh, 15 halved. So let's round, uh, damage will be rounded up for everything, so that'll be eight. You take eight fire damage as this pillar of fire erupts from the stair that you stepped on. Wait, are you a rogue? Don't you take zero? Nope. <laughs> Pure sorcerer. Oh, you're a sorcerer. Oh, well, damn. Uh, Never mind. She's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! As the fire comes up, and then her, uh, like, shadows, like, poof off of her as all of her temporary hit points from false life fade. Well, shit. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you guys go down, you you realize that there's a uh, a rune on that step that is slightly glowing from that previous explosion of fire there. Best to keep an eye out for those. Yep. Does it look uh, like it's still active, or does this one deactivate? Would you like to find out? Hmm. Not really. I'll try to cool. avoid where he stepped. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Shade turns to the party. Raise your hand if you want the cat to go first. I raise my hand. I'll... I can take the lead. Fire does not hurt me very much. Does the man made of wood? Does <laughs> the man with fire resistance? It's wet wood. <laughs> if you say so. Well, I, li I like that concept. It's wet wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll follow behind he's, it. Bruh, he's Domain of the Forge. Ooh, nice. He's charred. We'll go with that. He is charred wood. Gotcha. Oh, it's so it's all bark. bark. Bark is not flammable, by the way. Not, like, at all. So, yeah, he, uh, just walks around intentionally the glyph. And every step, he is going to carefully look to make sure there's still no glyphs, though. Mm-hmm. So as you guys come down, you guys make it all the way down the stairs, and upon reaching the bottom, you find... Oh. 
a group of a uh, a group of what looks to be cultists. They all have a uniform and they're all hooded. They all uh they're all waiting for you. Mm. Do we want to re-roll initiative or should we just continue on with the same initiative from before? I'm I mean, down to re-roll. Okay, let's re-roll yeah. initiative. Reminder to I'm down whatever. Tokens. So, uh, as you guys round down the stairs, you see this group of cultists who, upon hearing your arrival, have readied themselves. Um, the So let me just describe this room to you before we get too deep into it. Okay. Just beyond the landing of the spiral staircase, a short, wide leads to a grand hall lined with uh, carved stone pillars. The floor is tiled in mosaic patterns, and rich tapestries hang from the walls. At the far side of the room, the hall ends in a large metal door set into an imposing wall carved with tiger heads and images of ritualistic slaughter. Ooh. Fancy. I've determined these people to be heretics. <laughs> All right, Maverick, it is your turn first. They don't look happy to see us, right? No, they don't. Not particularly. I... Um... God, okay, that's how that works. I can't grab my token one second. Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15. So I'll go move right over here. That's 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm going to summon my shadow, dude, I don't have a token for that. I, I didn't think about that. There was supposed to be one. Yeah, my bad. Uh, William there's nothing to throw on the board. Ink inkling mascot, real quick. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, can you put it right here? Yeah, it's I'll gonna appear. Temporary control. Okay. Okay, it's a bonus action to do that, and then I'm going to use my action to attack this person in the front. Go so to two shots. Uh, since my shadow is a threatening presence, I will get my sneak attack on my first shot, if that's correct. I thought it was supposed to be melee damage. Ah, uh, for sneak attack? Melee. For sneak attack? Let me see real quick. I have it right here. Sneak attack, beginning at first oh, level. Flank rules. Yeah, for, for flanking. <clears throat> Let's see, if you have advantage on the attack roll, you don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target was within 5 feet. So my shadow is within 5 feet, so I wouldn't need advantage to get sneak. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the sneak, and I'm going to roll to hit. That's the first attack, so that is 14. Uh, that does not hit. 14 does not. Alright. And then I will try another one. That does uh, hit. Okay. So I will roll damage. What's the minus three? Oh, wait. Is sharpshooter not turned on? The minus three is sharp, uh, sharpshooter. And I re-roll ones and twos, so I'm gonna re-roll the the one I rolled. If Wait, you're okay with that. That's a ten plus two d six. So you add ten to your damage every time. For sharpshooter, yes. Okay. I take that's a minus five to my attack roll. Yeah. Uh, and I re-roll ones and twos because of sharp sh or because of not sharpshooter, but it is ranged weapon mastery. But I must take the new roll. Okay. So I'm gonna so roll, you're a just D gonna roll a D six. Yeah. Yes. Oh, is that a feat? That's such okay. A so I just feat. add one damage. So it would be twenty three. Twenty three total. I think so. Yeah. Sixteen. Um. What's this guy's base HP? All right. And that is my two attacks. This guy takes an arrow to the shoulder, and you can see him kind of like wiggle his shoulders a bit and then snap the arrow. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> now, Tux, it is your turn. All right, so next is going to go for 
this one dude that looks clearly different. Just do two attack with his radar. Plus one's a nat 20. Oh. And also it's flanking rules, so... What happened to Shadow Boy? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Uh, I like the picture. Okay. So, not 20 hits. That would be 20 damage for first attack. Right? So, that's a 9 plus... 9 plus 8 is 17. Hmm? Because it's the the attack roll or the damage roll is one d six plus three, right? Yeah. So an advantage with a, or with a nat twenty with a critical, it's a eight plus nine. Okay. Yeah. I I was doing that. So yeah, that he takes seventeen yeah. damage, and he's looking he's looking like he's having a good fight. So. And then I'm gonna attack again. Twenty, a dirty twenty-two. That hits. Dealing five. And that will be my draw. Alrighty. Uh, By, next you, up is Tarn. When you said he was enjoying the good fight, does that mean like, uh, he looks bloodied or like he looks? He, he's he's looking a little dinged up, just a little. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, five, ten, fifteen. Uh, let's see. And you said flanking rules is only it's for plus, plus three to an attack roll, I think. What? Are you going off mine? No. Flanking yeah. is an advantage. It's a plus two. It's it's not it's not specified in the rule book. For this one, I'm what? using William's homebrew rule. It's a plus oh. two to the attack. I mean, yep. Okay. Uh, any attack rule, or jet like? As, as a, it has to be melee. And the person must be directly across from you. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that the other person directly across from them has to have a weapon like William does, I'm but I'm gonna I'm take the plus two portion. Working on. Ah, interesting. That's interesting. Okay, um, let's see if this counts as... Oh, no, that's going to be a ranged. Um, this is also a range. 5, 10, 15. You know, he'll just, um, he'll go into Tux's space. Temporarily, you won't want to turn there, but um, he'll make an attack at this guy in the middle with his quarter staff. Mm -hmm. So that's a. I'll just roll to hit and then add plus two after the fact since roll twenty doesn't do that. It it, it should hit. <laughs> um. So that's so much work. Okay. Uh. That's. Why the hell did that roll 3d6? One second. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, ignore 3d6. Wait, that was 3d8. I'm gonna roll that in uh, here. Slash R D six plus two. There we go. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then he will, he will also, he will bonus action again and try and push him prone to the ground. All right. Contested. So that's uh, athletics. And, or he can use acrobatics. Okay. That is a seven. Ah, that is a 13. All right. He is now prone. And then I will move out, oh, uh, I'll move out of his space and end my turn. Okay. 
Shade, it is your turn. Wow. It's literally everybody, every player character, and then every NPC. Not true. For some reason, I thought it was I was 14, but I, I looked ahead, back. I rolled um, a 3, so I should be uh, near the should end. be lower. <laughs> so... Okay, never mind. It is now a cultist's turn. Shade's all the way back there. <laughs> You're doing good, guys! <laughs> so this cultist is going to go over here and try to take a swipe at the shadow. That is a five. I'm guessing that doesn't AC's hit. Four. AC's four? No. <laughs> no, that would be hit. insane. I said no, it doesn't hit. Oh, uh, okay. It's AC's uh, 18. Okay. Jesus. Next cultist is going to try as well. That is a 19. That would hit. All right. I have it yeah, has one is... hit point, so any damage will put it out. Oh, okay, so that's six damage. Yeah. Poof. Okay. I'm just gonna banish him to the GM layer for now. To the shadow realm. Uh next Oh wait. Oh yeah, okay. I did that correctly. Next up is the man that y'all been wailing on right now. Got two tanks right on him. Yeah, he's also got three attacks. So, and he's on the <laughs> good luck. All right, so uh, there. No, those are D10s. Is he not uh, prone? He is. He is prone. He, he's just got to use half his movement to stand up if he's going to yeah. attack. Just basically means he can't flee. Yeah. So he is going to use half his movement to stand up. And then he is going to take a swipe at Tarn. Alright. That is a dirty 21. That misses. Wow. AC 22, baby. All right, nice. uh, second mace swing is going to be towards Tux. That is another dirty 21. That hit. All right. Uh... We have two different types of tanks here. I'm assuming yeah. you're a very high con HP tank. <laughs> uh, so well, that is... Course, no, nothing to goff about. That is three bludgeoning damage and uh, five necrotic. And he's going to take one last swing at Tux again. That one is a 22. Wow, what are the odds? And uh, same, that'll be three bludgeoning and seven necrotic this time. Jesus. Okay, for a total of... Oh, you weren't keeping track? Shit. No. I think it... Three and seven, so ten. That's the second attack. It was ten damage. The first one oh. was nine total. So, nineteen damage. Next up is another cultist. Which one? that one. This one is... Shit, alright. I guess. Give it your best shot. <laughs> Please, I'm just... I, I, that's not a... That's not that a, never, a provocation. Well. That is a natural 20. Is it? It is. I'm going to cast as a reaction Power Word Misfortune. A reaction From to... All the, way, all the way back there, you are technically behind a pole. Damn it. Um, no, right. wait. I don't have to see them. It's within 60 feet. A reaction to a creature scoring a critical hit. Uh, when a creature Very scores, nice. when a creature scores a critical hit within range, you speak a word of power that causes them to lose traction and steals their good fortune. The critical hit is reduced to being a normal hit, and one other creature you could choose within range receives the good luck, gaining a bonus on their next attack roll, saving throw, or ability check within. One minute equal to half the proficiency bonus of the creature Jeez, so triggered. Okay. 
Um, so the hit is normal. And I okay. choose... Or, uh, Maverick gains uh, a bonus uh, to an attack roll, saving throw, or ability check equal to the proficiency of the creature that crit. Did it say half or equal to? I thought you said half the first time. Half the proficiency bonus rounded down. I don't know what the proficiency bonus is. Yeah, yeah whatever. They're... It's that dude's. It is plus two. So, so one. plus one for me. Yes. Okay. That's so nice. So, he still attacks and he, hits. he might hit. It's what... just not a crit. Well, it's a natural 20, but what's his modifier? What do you mean, what's his modifier? What's the total of the hit for the natural 20 is what he's asking. Oh, so without without the criticals part, that'll be uh, 6 damage. Well, no, it's 20 plus what? Uh, oh, plus three. Ah, oh, damn. So close. Okay. Uh, you said how much damage? <laughs> um, and of... Th uh, yeah, six. And of what type? Blood, or slashing. Alright, it's three damage. I take three damage. Heavy armor master, baby. Alright. Now it's Shade's turn. Are they the standard cultists? Or are they, like, special ones? You know, like, they're... You know, like, Don't make special. Do they have the, the the membership patch on their cloak? Is what he's asking. You know, like, did they, did they pay the premium price for their robes? <laughs> I mean, they are in a silk shop. Like this store, this place is literally like a linen store. Well, that's true. I'm going to. Cast... I mean, upstairs it was five hundred. I'm going to head and cast mage armor on myself as I'm walking up and surveying the situation. Oh, those, look, those robes do look nice. <laughs> and I'm uh, so, yep. uh, Can we just take a moment to admire the cultists before we fight? Uh, oh, that one has, out, guys. has a really cool mask. That's okay. <laughs> and she's like casting a magic to like, give herself uh, some armor. <laughs> nice. Uh, last one. One, two. Three, and it's gonna take a swipe at Tux again. That's a six. <laughs> All right. One rolls a natural twenty. The other one rolls a six. How poetic. <laughs> yeah, Maverick. It is your turn now. You're gonna have to follow me on this one for a hot second. I reach into my pocket with an action, and I'm gonna coat three pieces of ammunition with some poison. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna bonus action, action surge, and I'm gonna attack the first culture. I'm gonna start attacking the cultists in front of me, but I have three attacks because I have uh, my two attacks, and then I get an extra attack with my. Uh, where's it at? It's the. Range Weapon Master. Whenever I make an attack, take the attack action. Oh no, that's a bonus action. I get two attacks. Never mind. Um, I read it. Um, I don't believe Action Surge is a bonus action. Yeah. Action yeah, Surge. Or... No, Action Surge is just. just is that just for it. free? Yeah. Yeah. It's free. Oh, okay. Then I still get three attacks then. Yeah. Wait. So first one in front of me is this guy. So I'm gonna attack him. With this. Yep. Double check. It's. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's Oof. I don't know if that'll hit with a nine. Uh, are you attacking the main guy or the one directly in front of me? This, this guy. guy. Okay. I'll do too. I <laughs> Can I add that plus one? So. Or do I get to pick what I add that plus one to? It's the first attack I make or save, right? Um. It's... So it'd be a ten. Yeah, you can pick. If I use the plus one that I have. I think you can pick. You okay. So could that be a ten? And if uh, it makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, I mean, ultimately, no. But if but that's, that's fine. Just... That's what I chose to do. So there's that plus okay. one gone. Yep. And then my my next attack is the same guy in front of me since he didn't get hit. Which is going to be... That hits. Alright, so... I do not have... 
actually, yeah, I do have an ally threatening him in range, so I would have sneak. And I would get the poison damage on this one, which I'm going to roll the damage first. Which is the sharpshooter and everything. I'm going to re-roll the one. So that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that's 20. Doesn't matter, it's still 20. And then he's going to take a constitution save. Which is a DC 14. Uh, DC 14 for poison. That's a con save, right? Yes. Yeah. That is a three. He'll take an additional 14 on top of the uh, uh, first damage. Uh, wow, okay. This cult has this point, uh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, with my bonus action, my next shot will be with my last poison arrow that I have currently coded. It's going to be the guy right behind him. Okay. Yeah, no. So basically, with your the, your piercing attack, that basically killed him already. Oh. Okay. So wait, what did you re-roll that one to? It was a one again. Oh, never mind. It did he had one. He had one HP left. <laughs> okay, so the guy behind him, I draw again, and I fire. That hits. All right. Uh, he'll need to make a con save as well. That is an eight. That is a fail, so he'll take 13 plus... Wait, why is it doing that twice? The first one was 13, so... Th wait. We'll do 13 and 13. Hold up, we need to minus the sneak attacks. I didn't unclick that. So I don't get uh, two okay. sneak attacks. Um, That would be so, a straight 10, then. So 10, and then the poison damage is 5. I gotta remember to click that. The initial attack if he was failed. 23, and then if he gets hit with poison, it's an extra 5 damage. Okay. Dude, where'd you get this ranged weapon master thing? From my it's ship, a... I told you that I had. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Kai would love that. <laughs> I told... So, I built this guy around the bow, so I took a lot of uh, feats that had to do with that. Yeah, that that that's an amazing feat. Like, I took Poisoner, Skulker, uh, Range Weapon Master, and Sharpshooter. That's... that's great. So how's that, uh, second cultist looking behind him? So that's a 16... yeah. Immediately dead. Okay. Not even getting into poison damage here. 16 and, and he's dead. Then, because I don't like where I'm at, I am going to move 5, 10... Uh, I'm gonna move over right here. This probably isn't gonna be the way. I'm gonna actually stay where I am. I'm fine where I'm at. End of my turn. That's all I got. Okay. All right. Tux. All right. So Tux is gonna drop his two hand axes and grab his great axe. And go into a rage, which activates a uh, wild storage, which is a D8. That's a four. That your goal. It magic infuses one weapon of your choice that you're holding until your rage ends. And the weapon's damage type changes to force and gains the light and throne properties with a normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60. If the weapon leaves your hand, the weapon reappears in the hand at the end of the current turn. So, the Great Act is now infused with magic and I'm gonna attack the um, cultist in front of me twice. Okay. 26. That hits. 7. And that's all the damage. Attacking again, because I have two attacks. 
Mm -hmm. 21. That also hits. And... 7 again. So, total of 14. Alright. This guy's wincing a little bit. He's starting to, he's starting to feel it. Feeling it pretty, uh, pretty good here. Okay. Tarn. Yes. Okay, that dude... He's looking pretty hurt now, right? Mm. Eh, he's a little dinged up. Alrighty. Well, he'll just, uh, he'll stand right here. And he's gonna use Word of Radiance. And everybody around him, um, takes 2D, has to make a con, uh, Con save of 15. If they fail, they take 2d6 radiant damage. Alright, well, I'm gonna do the, cult, the the little cultists first. Con save. First one's 8. Second oh, one's no. 18. Pass. And it's a save or suck, so if they save, they just don't take damage. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. And the big guy takes a dirty 20. All right, so only one of them takes uh, 11 points of radiant damage. Right. The one that's, like, right below you takes radiant damage, and he's looking pretty toasty. The other cultists were able to, like, raise something in order to block the light quick enough, but the one underneath you just kind of didn't see it coming and got flashed pretty bad. All right, and um, as a bonus action, I will uh, shove this guy down to the floor again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am a freaking bully. <laughs> All right, so that's athletics. Jumps the side. Damn. You are so it does not work. Shield the dude to the head. Uh, you you don't know. So yeah, no, that's wait, an he, eleven. Yeah, there's no way that he lost to that. If he did, <laughs> well, his strength so, mod is plus one, and so is his dex. So if he rolled, so it was possible. One... <laughs> it was possible. Mm hmm. All right. Well, yeah, that that is my turn. All right, back with the cultists. Uh, so this this top one's I mean the only person that he can really swing at is uh, Tarn here. Well, actually, no, he's gonna go over here and see if he gets a attack of opportunity. Yeah, uh, he will get attack of opportunity. Um. Which I can only do with a quarter staff. Okay, so bonk. What the fucking hell, man? Nope, you miss. <laughs> I rolled a miss. two. You, you can't. You turn. can't. You can't do the bonk. That's fair. No bonkage. All right, there. We got our bad rolls out of the way. A one and a two back to back. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so he is going to take a swing at Maverick with a scimitar. And that is a 19. Hits. All right. And that is five slashing damage. As that hits, the aid that I have gained today has disappeared. All Your right, hit point next. maximum is still up by five, though. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, you next do up. keep your hit point maximum. What I ended up doing was that when I went to hit point maximum, just I take the number plus five. Like, yep. You. It's a uh, for eight hours. All of your. Uh, well, all except for Tux's HP is oh, five okay. higher. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, now it is the big cultist's turn. So first, he is going to uh, use half his movement to get up. Uh, and then he is going to, let's see. He is going to, uh, yeah, he is going to use one of his actions to cast Bless on the other two, uh, um, what's Interesting. Cultist? Yep, the other two cultists. 
and himself. Uh, he then is going to... Uh, let's see. Blast a divine bolt. Two divine bolts. One towards Maverick and the other to Tarn. All right. Divine bolt. A range attack, right? Yep. Okay, it'd be disadvantage against me. Okay, so the first one is and... going to be an 18 plus 7 to hit. So that's 25 to Tarn. Was that a disadvantage and... as well? Yeah, I mean, it's a... Are you going by range attack rolls have disadvantage at close range? Yeah. This one just says range 120. Yeah, it's still a ranged spell it, attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it though? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we'll just use mace attacks. I thought it was like, oh, don't turn your feet. I uh, mean, just... mace attack wouldn't be able to attack Maverick. No, you can just, but you can switch it to. Yeah, uh... he'll 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 go Tarn and Tux then. Oh, I see. Okay. So that is going to be a twenty-one to Tux. Uh, which I, if I remember correctly, hits. And so that'll be four damage, um, for, uh, bludgeoning. And then, uh, eleven for necrotic. And the second one is gonna go to Tarn. That does not hit. <laughs> it's fifteen. No. Alright, last one. Well, actually, wait. No, go back. He gets a plus f plus D four. No, he still wouldn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, Tarn is a chonker. Yeah. He big chonk. He better group. All right, and then <laughs> the last person in this uh, in this NPC tirade is is this cultist who's gonna try and take a swing at. Nope, that's a six. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to roll a d4 for that one, either. I like to think that they do keep hitting Tarn, but the attacks just can't like playing, do playing anything. Playing. Yeah, <laughs> he's just standing there. This poofs right. of charcoal. Shade. Shade. Charge. <laughs> and... Dagger. Does, that... Does 19 hit? Uh, yes. Who are you trying to hit? Boom. Sorry, I was wiping my glasses, so I didn't see a pink. Small boy. Little guy. Yep. Right, There's two little guys. I the attack. one that he's next to. Oh, oh, okay. I did six damage of, uh... Why is it on Uh, I believe daggers are piercing? They're piercing. Piercing, yeah. Okay. Uh, piercing damage. He dead. Jeez. Really? Oh, that's right. I hit him earlier. <laughs> yeah, I did 11 damage to him earlier. I like, she just, just walks up and just like stabs him into the shoulder and he just like crumbles like, well, come on. <laughs> she places a hand on him and then uh, the radiant energy of the bless that's flying away from him as he like dies. She grabs hold of it and does a radiant strike against uh, a radiant blade against this dude. <laughs> against. Okay. That does not hit. And he blocks <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Oh, you're gonna Is be that challenged your turn? then. Yes, that's your turn. Next up is Maverick. I am going to bonus action disengage and go five, ten feet over here. And I'm gonna take two pop shots at the big guy in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's see if I have this all right. The first one will be a sneak attack. I just got to remember to uncheck it. So... Ugh. First one misses. Yep. Natural that 20. Hits. Now I can sneak attack once per round, so I can make this my sneak attack, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me click on my little damage thingies. Sneak attack, sharpshooter. And... Is there any ones in there? I'm gonna reroll that one. So right. let me get what's the total right now? It's 19, uh, 20, 24, 5, 26, 27, 
28, 29, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. It's 38 right now. So considering that it is max, max for, uh, Oh, so the, for criticals, these, you know how you make, you're supposed to make two times the dice rolls, right? Yeah. In we just my rules, the second, the second dice roll does max damage. Okay. So, so I will re-roll that one still. Okay, so your total will be 10 plus 12 plus another 12. So that's 24 plus 10 is 34. 34 plus 19. 34 plus 19 is 53. And then whatever you re-roll for that one. It didn't matter. <laughs> Stays the same. So it's 39 total. Okay. Yeah, he... fifty. It's 59 total. Actually. Whew, I just smile and I go, bingo! Yeah, uh, he is... He Single-handedly, you took him from like, uh, I'm hurt, but I can still fight, to like, oh, maybe this isn't worth it. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit in my corner over here <laughs> and end my turn. Okay. Um... All right, Tux, it is now your turn. All right, Tux is gonna first attack the lead cultist with his great eye. He has advantage, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, plus two, plus two, sorry. Yeah, so that's 15. That doesn't hit. No, what? I think I have a way to give myself advantage on the force attack. Relentless if you're a barbarian. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna relentlessly attack him. Reckless. Oh yes, reckless attack. Okay. Are you gonna roll? Oh, there we go. Yeah. 17. 17 does hit. AC of 15, 16 or 17? Hmm. There's five damage to him. All right. And then I'm gonna, post for my second attack, go for the guy above me. Okay. That hits. And that does both damage to you. Alrighty. This guy's looking pretty hurt right now. Not missing any appendages though. No fingers or toes gone. There. No. There's okay, a pretty okay. nice gash across his chest. He's bleeding a lot. Um, is that your turn? Yeah. All right, Tarn. All right. He is going to use um, Toll of the Dead on him. And he needs to make a Wisdom 15 saving throw. That is a 8. <laughs> He fails! And guess what? <laughs> 2d12. That's, uh, 15 nice. points of necrotic damage. Yeah, he's he's looking a little little tender right now. He's, he's looking pretty hurt. Uh, I guess... I can't... I'm not gonna waste a bonus action on this boy at the moment, so, you know. He's just gonna add more insult to injury and push it back down. <laughs> it doesn't do anything <laughs> because of my initiative, but it's fine. He's gonna do it anyway. Athletics. Ah, damn. I rolled low again. <laughs> I swear, if I that succeed, another 17. shot. Okay, he he's gotten used to me pushing him to the ground every yeah. round. <laughs> He's done with it. You motherfucker! 
All right. Is that and, a yeah, I had my yeah, I had my turn. <laughs> so this one is going to come around here and get. What is your infatuation with me? <laughs> <laughs> Although that's not the plan here. He gets plus two against. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Tux here. That is a fifteen plus wrong page. <laughs> 15 plus 3 is 18, plus 2 is a dirty 20 for Tux, with a scimitar. Alright. That's 2 damage. 2? Damn. Yeah. Um, I'm also gonna activate my reaction of Unstable Backlash, which allows me to re-roll the, uh, my Vital Magic effect. So, a intangible spirit which looks like a flump or a pixie, I'm going with a flump. As appears, you should. Of course. Um, appears within five feet of one creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you. At the end of the turn, the spirit explodes and each creature within five feet like succeed on a dex saving throw or take it d6 um force damage until your rage ends you can use this effect again summoning another spirit on each of your drones as a bonus action what so the flump is gonna go right there you gotta tell me when you need tokens I didn't realize I was gonna need tokens, man. There. Tyler, I'll give you a heads up. The only token that I might end up having is a spiritual weapon, but uh, I'll get I'll, I'll I'll make one for you right now. <laughs> I won't I won't use it until. Let's see. There. That's a flump. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate that. <laughs> Why? I love it. <laughs> Disadvantage, fuck you. Okay, it's like a little cute, but it's also kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, what do you think a flump is? Just cute. But it's also kind of dumb. Just how Tux imagines a flump looks. There is a freaking token for for a flump, man. All right. Wait, nope, nope. It is a premium act, asset. So unless you want to pay for it, actually, I might have that thing. So is you rerolled your wild magic, and yeah. so we can continue on. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this guy is going to. Use his first action. Um, to cast Cure Wounds on himself. Not incredibly good, but it gets him a little... His breath, his breath gets a little less raggedy. Uh, his first swing with his mace is going to... Since he's basically trapped here, he's going to take his first swing against Tux. And that is a 11 total. Uh, it's will probably. Advantage. Why advantage? Reckless attack. Hey, reckless. A reckless deck. Oh. Yeah. That we is are a honest 17 players. plus 4 plus 2, so that's over 20. Okay. So that is going to be. Two bludgeoning and nine necrotic, so that's eleven total damage. And then with his second attack, he's going to try and take a swing at uh, Shade now, since she's there. No, oh. that is going to be a twenty-one, dirty twenty-one. Okay. And that's going to be three bludgeoning with. Uh, five necrotic, so not as bad as it could have been. So eight damage total? Yep. And 
without being able to move too much, he ends his turn there. Shade. Well, if we're going to play that game, <laughs> uh, Shade will... How's he looking? He's looking pretty hurt. He's looking pretty hurt. Yeah, why not? I'm going to... Uh, Shade is going to cast uh, Ink Lance. No. Yeah, that don't hit. That don't hit. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, he straight up dodges it. <laughs> ah, hold on. That's with a plus. How do you, you have a plus nine? Yes. means I rolled really low. Uh, and I'm gonna move here. Uh, and that's me. Okay. And so they've blunt explode. So. Dexterity saving throws. E either dex or just take the 1d6. Oh, uh, what's the modifier? 14. Five. He rolled a 17, let's go! So does he take half damage or something? I think he said it, no damage. It's... Must succeed on a dex saving throw or take it 1d6. Oh, so he doesn't take damage at all then. Great. Save or suck. I also need to roll, but I get an advantage, because I have danger set. And I succeed. Okay, Maverick. Alright, uh, wanting to lay into a few people, I'm not going to take the five. I'm going to step back, taking the attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, from the the smaller cultist. Yeah, this guy. That is a 20, 30, 21. It oh, hits. What's with the totals of 21 today? It's a sign. And that is three damage. Oh, okay. All right, and then I'm going to shoot at him because he just attacked me. L l uh, little cultist is a challenge level one eighth, so... That hit, uh, oh, well, wait, 14, yeah, that doesn't hit, never mind. Alright, I will fire again. That what the fuck's with these hit. rolls? I will use my bonus action to fire one more time. That does hit. Alright, uh, he is threatened, so I need to hit sneak attack on, sharpshooter, and then, yeah, that should be everything, poison's off. So, 26 piercing. Uh, yeah, nah, that's... Even, even, if he was, even if he had health, he would have died. Like, full health, he would have died on that one, so... And then I'm going to step back to the side over here with last my movement and end my turn. Okay. Tux, it is your turn. Alright, so... For... You guys are just dogpiling this guy. <laughs> At this point, yep. The first thing I'm gonna do is... Beat on him with my great uh, forest attack. It's a 24, and I know that is. Dealing 6 damage. And then, second attack. Yet again, hit. And 13. Is he still. Damage. Yep, 19 damage. Is He's he still, still up. Um, gonna summon another from right on top of that dead cultist. And that's my drone. Alright. <laughs> Just to verify, none of these dudes are undead, right? Not that Yet. you know of. Okay. <laughs> Hard, just it is let, your turn. Just let me know if I kill something that's undead. It's important. <laughs> so what you're saying, you would know. 
I would know. If I killed them. <laughs> it would know. It Oh, it's my turn. Ah. Yes. I knew that. Okay. Um Oh my goodness, I could have just been doing an extra 1d8 every turn because I and I forgot. Uh that's right. Because of my thing. I'm a cleric. Uh I whapped this dude in the face. Uh he's okay. looking yeah, so that's going to be a... I'm just going to use my quarterstaff, and that's going to be a plus two. So, 19 to hit. Uh, 19 does hit. Alright, and... I think he really does take the 3d6, and I have to see why. I know he takes at least 2d6. Um... Why does it do 3d6? Does it tell me in my rolls if I click it? Uh, where is that? Um, if you hover over, I'm seeing... Yeah. I have no idea what any of this programming is. 8 plus 1d 0cs is greater than 0cf is greater than... Yeah, dude, I'm so freaking confused. Makes my it head roll... hurt. It says three rolls sent to VTT, so... Just, just roll, roll it using, like yeah, the dice roller and the, the roll twenty. Ah, it makes me think I'm missing out on an entire d6 of damage, but that's okay. We'll just do the two d6 for now. Uh, two d6 plus. I think that was a plus three modifier, plus two. So that is. Um, five of that is fire damage, and three of that is bludgeoning. Okay. Oh, sorry, five, five bludgeoning, five fire, because yeah, I forgot, plus two. Like, where's the plus two? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I get it. Alright, and, He's uh... He's looking pretty hurt. Y'all are getting pretty uh, close. Nice. The sack of garbage, I shove him to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this has you're, no... You're disadvantage, because this, this has got a... Never mind. That's a fucking he four. He doesn't need it. He beat you with the four. Think on that. Yeah, it's just reinforcing the fact that I really have been doing it to him a lot, and now it's just not an issue to him. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, he's like barely narrowly missing, missing it too. That's the thing. He's just barely not getting shoved. It's like you grab hold of his shoulder and he just slaps it. <laughs> Since it's low rolls, it's just barely effort on both your parts. Uh, <laughs> Tarn has stopped wanting to shove him, but he knows that he should. <laughs> Let's get one last shove in. All the that. I mean, I've done everything I can really do. So right. yeah. Dude takes off his mask and he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he is going to uh, just this time figuring that he's dead anyways. He's just gonna go out swinging. Uh, swings at Tux again because he seems to be hitting him consistently. That is oof. He doesn't oh, have the he doesn't have the thing anymore. The the. Uh, Bless. Not he, well. He still has bless. Actually, it's has... a concentration. It is a concentration. Let me make a make a concentration saving throw for him. I say make three and assume that's all the attacks that hit him. Yeah. Those rolled was a sixteen with a plus two in con, so that's eighteen. He probably um, makes his concentration. Yeah. Uh, he is going to swing with a mace. That's 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay. Uh, 1d6 plus 2d9, or 1d6 plus 1 plus 2d9, 2d8. So that's 3 bludgeoning with 3 necrotic damage. Okay. How are you looking, Tux? Well, I'm definitely below half health. Okay. He's um, gonna turn around and whack, try to wax Tarn. 
<laughs> and before you do that, I'm gonna re-roll the magic. I love this how this man is going out on his last swings because that's a natural twenty. All right. All right. My, so my that's is back being infused. That oh. is a total of fourteen bludgeoning damage. All right. So reduced by plus three, so eleven. Fourteen bludgeoning plus twenty-two necrotic. What? Yeah, because it's two D eight. He rolled he rolled a five and a one, so that's six, plus sixteen max for necrotic, so that's twenty-two. Alright. And I took a uh, ten? Yes. Okay. And then he's gonna turn around and take a whack at Shade. Oh, he's going three <laughs> attacks. Yeah, he has a three. He has he has three multi attack. Okay, I'm going to ca- activate my silver laced robes. I'm in light, right? Like these these yes. uh these are on. You are in light. My AC is increased by my charisma modifier. Well, it doesn't really matter. He rolled a three, so <laughs> it matters for you because that means I used a resource. Gotcha. All right. And then that that is his turn. It is now Shade's turn. It's rolled a deep, rolled a nat twenty, and he's just like, oh no, but I'm gonna roll a three. Uh, fucking him swinging his sword, and then uh, sh- uh, Shade throwing up a, a light from her robes, and then grabbing that light and making a radiant blade, and critting with it. <laughs> nice. All right. Dealing three. Six is nine. Nine plus five is fourteen. Uh, plus six is uh, twenty damage. Oh, oh, that 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 my butthole's puckering on this one. And then uh, with her other hand, she manifests from uh, from her body a blade of darkness, and she's going to go for a second attack. Uh, with uh, Ink Blade. Okay. 26. That hits. Dealing uh, 6 piercing and it's like... And, uh, How do you want to do this? Uh, I'm, I'm basically telling you how I'm doing this as it happens. She's basically, as, as she like finishes her massive cut of light that she took from her robes, her other hand swings back around with a shadowy blade and she just like uh, ver- uh, horizontal cuts his head straight off. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, and he dies. Good job, everybody. They've done a mask. Yeah, you're, you're, able, you're able to loot the mask. It is he, under his under his mask. You can see that he's just a fairly average looking Joe. Uh, very muscular. Um, a human fellow. Does, but, does uh, he have a? Uh, can I check for like a ring of keys or any sort of equipment that would be, that's on him? So as you're uh, make a investigation check to loot. I'm looking for potions of healing. I, can I, I? I would want. Can I guidance? I didn't get to say it fast enough, but not this time. I rolled nineteen. I'm looking for yep. potions of healing. So um. You see that very evident is their like symbol. All of them are carrying some uh, some symbol that is like a clawed hand. It's it looks like I mean if you pull up Tux's paws, they look like that. They got claw like really sharp claws on them. Do you want us to religion check? Um, I mean if you want, you don't have to. Uh, the one that the main guy was wearing it seems to be made from gold, and it's holding a large ruby. The other ones are... Uh, that one is worth about a thousand gold pieces. The other ones are made from more cheaper materials, cheaper metals, and it's holding like a glass stone. And they're much... They're, uh, some of them are showing wear with age. 
Uh, those are much cheaper, about a about two gold per necklace for each for each cultist. Um, the the other cultists are uh, have daggers and scimitars, and you find some uh, some spare change amongst them, equaling to about uh, about a hundred gold when put all together. You don't find any um, potions of healing, and you don't find anything else other than those in the clothes on their back, as well as the mask for the lead cultist. Now, uh, with all... Go ahead. What was caught... Do, uh, do we get the sense from the weapon that he was holding that he was innately doing that necrotic damage, or is his weapon magical? Um... You uh, make make a. Let's just do an Arcana check. Okay. Ouch. This mask is yeah. so nice. Yeah, I know, right? Like that's the the. How is he doing necrotic damage? Who fucking knows? Who fucking cares? This mask's awesome. 